the hues of silent glory. Before they slip out of memory, let me here recount the joys of the ordinary, the small hours, the little things, those tiny, commonplace things. They have no banners nor trumpets of importance, and yet they are great vessels of hope. These multiple moments are so plain they could easily pass us by. We can miss them as how we always do when our thoughts swirl in the past or cogitate in the future. It takes practice to behold their magnificence, to live in the present moment as they say, to find peace, I guess, in the everyday. So let me begin with gray. How it makes everything misty and gray after a downpour, the roads glisten, the atmosphere clears. When it is drizzling and the raindrops are tiny and fine, one can squint at the sky, heavy with clouds, lackluster in its dreary majesty. And there too is the beauty of leaves. No time of the day diminishes their splendor. Or a fresh morning, they look fine and happy. At noontime, stark shining. And then in the evening, they become somber silhouettes against a darkening sky. Let me say something of the beauty of silence. When one can quiet the mind, one can find it there. A lifting of the heart, the rhythm of breath, the expanse of being. A great world that cannot be seen. And what about the warmth of company? The breathlessness of laughter and the merriment over coffee. The joy of someone strumming a ukulele. Memories of family and friends bring joy too, do they not? Maybe simple times with people we love. A day on the beach. The smell of pancakes your mom just cooked. Dinner over a steaming bowl of soup. The little moments of joy come in many forms. Sometimes they appear in slanting patches of shadows and sunlight on a white wall, or mottled clouds in a blue sky. Sometimes in a picture of a white table bathed in sunset over the sliver of a crescent moon, or maybe the muffled sound of laughter from another room. I want to catch them, so I paint them here. I take out a brush and acrylic and immortalize the canvas, the hues of silent glory.